My name's Ryan White, I'm 31 years old, from Brighton, fighting at a ZT fight school. My MMA record is six and four, four wins by way of knockout and two by submission. Most of the guys I've fought have been top guys and guys that I shouldn't have beaten. Guys ranked number one in the UK, guys are ranked number two. No, I don't care, I'll just fight anybody. All my training is specifically for MMA, whether it be explosive, box jumps, weights, cardio, everything I do is focused on MMA. My fighting style, I just like to go balls out. Just get in there and just go for it. People want to see knockouts, people want to see people getting hurt, so they want to see wars, and that's what I like to do. I want to give the crowd what they want to see. I don't come up with no game plans. Mainly, I like ground and pound, beat them up, finish them on the ground, but if it comes to standing up, then I'll go for it. Either way, it don't matter. My name is Seth Petrozelli. I'm 30 years old. I'm from Orlando, Florida, fighting out of the jungle, mixed martial arts and fitness. My professional record is 12 and four, and all of my wins have become by way of technical knockout or knockout. I've started martial arts training when I was seven years old, and I've continued throughout my whole life. I hold a third degree black belt in traditional karate, kickboxed for 15 years, wrestled for 15 years, and I'm a brown belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. My nickname is a silverback because I'm the king of the jungle. That's my fighting style. It's traditional karate with some jiu-jitsu mixed with monkey punches. My main strengths are definitely my striking. I've also wrestled for a long time too, so I feel very comfortable uh, defending takedowns, but more exciting to stand and get a knockout. My game plan with Ryan is gonna be to feel him out for the first minute or so, pick him apart, find his weaknesses, and go for the knockout. Seth shot to fame when he knocked out Kimbo the killer slice. Seth is the Kimbo killer. It's history, man. I knocked him out 14 seconds. That says a lot about his pedigree. And the fact that he beat Kimbo Slice doesn't really intimidate me. At the end of the day, he's just another fighter. Whether he's 20 and 0, 50 and 0, it don't matter to me. I just want to fight, and that's it at the end of the day. With Ryan, he's representing the UK. He's from Brighton. This is a huge step up. He's going into this fight as the underdog. I come into this fight, I ain't gonna fuck about. I just wanna fight, get the fight over and done with. In MMA, the underdogs can always win. Hopefully get a win and show the rest of the UK and the world that I'm, I'm here taking this sport serious. A perfect outcome would be um, a fast KO. That's always the best way to do it and then go start drinking with all the guys. The perfect outcome for this fight for me would be to knock him out standing up. If Ryan wants to stay on toe-to-toe -to -toe and trade, uh, I'll be happy to oblige him. I'll give you 100% and try to knock this guy out. It'd be a war. Let's get in there and, and swing hands and see who gets knocked out first. I guarantee it's not going to be me. Ryan White, I wouldn't get in the cage with me if I was you, but if you do, have an ice pack ready for after the fight. For Seth Petrocelli, let's give the crowd what they want to see tonight. Let's give it 100% and let's let the crowd see someone get knocked out.